Welcome back everyone. Today I want to talk about this very cool crazy custom uh, from JD Vanaventer that Alex from Alex's Knife Box sent up. Now this is the last one in the box of goodies that he sent me that I have to film. That's a lie. There is a watch that I need to kind of film or decide that I'm not going to film and ship back to him. One of the, one of the two. Um, so I need to get this back to him because Alex is working on a video strictly about my Carta. All the differences, what it is, all that good stuff. So down below there will be a link to Alex's channel. So go check him out and make sure you stay tuned to his channel for his upcoming my Carta video. So let's dive into the specs of this one, then we'll do close up and talk about a lot of the custom stuff and whatnot. So it is the uh, gold standard is the model and it's the gold model and this is the standard size. There is a midi and then a mini and I don't have the dimensions on those, but this one was made in around 2015-ish, best we can tell. So it is four and seven eighths closed. Eight and five eighths overall. The blade is 3.61. The edge is 3.44. It is a herringbone Damascus, which is awesome. Super tight pattern. Um, you can probably not really see the pattern here until we zoom in, which is totally cool. Uh, it is 0.154 blade thickness, 0.595 overall thickness, runs on IKBS bearings, and it weighs in at just 5.6 ounces. It's tuned really well. Very controlled close. You can give it a hard shake and it's closed. I mean, it's, yeah, beautiful overall. So let's zoom in and we'll take a look at that awesome blade. I love the herringbone Damascus pattern. I have a knife. Um, a Big Knives Bodega that's in Herringbone, Damascus. And I have that out here on the table and I'll compare in just a minute. It's not as tight of a weave as this one. Uh, or as tight of a pattern. I'm not sure how they make it, but it's not as tight and it's etched a little different color. So it's a little bit darker. So it's a little bit easier to see from afar. Okay, beautiful, beautiful blade that runs right into this beautiful Timascus bolster and Timascus pivot. Then you lean into the Westinghouse micarta. Go to the backside, we have a beautifully milled and awesomely functional Timascus clip over the Westinghouse micarta and then more Timascus over here on the back side to match the front side couple things we'll notice, this is where you get true craftsmanship, is there's a little bit of hand work, hand filing on the liners. Very cool gear type pattern backspacer with a, I want to call it a hidden lanyard hole because you don't see it. It's a lanyard pin, I guess you could call it, if you were to put a lanyard on here. And then the the liners are totally, you know, hand finished on the inside also. I leave it here, you can really see the Damascus pattern coming in on the spine of the blade. I think that's just gorgeous. That's one of the things I love about Damascus. Even there on the flipper tab, you can see the Damascus pattern. That's not just my fingerprint. I mean, it's just beautiful. If we open it up, you can see the little bit of jimping there on the liners. And I think, let me see if I can grab the light and show you. Inside of the liners, he has machine turned them, engine turned them, if you will which I think is just an awesome touch when makers go to that level of detail. Even the lock cutout has that finished touch on it. I mean, come on. 
give me a break. We're going to finish that lock relief inside of a liner lock that's hidden. Like you don't see that unless you really are looking. I, I Sometimes I'm just speechless with these custom designs and the fact that the level of detail that makers go to. Now JD is in South Africa. So is JVO. They are both South African uh, designers and makers. They got together to put this together. JVO helped design. Um, just, yeah, it just works. And it feels great in the hand. This is something that Alex carries. This is not a safe queen. There are five of these were made. Slightly different configurations and a little bit of variations between the five. But these were made for five specific collectors five, six, seven years ago. Uh, and Alex was lucky enough because he lives close by and knows one of the collectors. Um, he was lucky enough to actually buy this from that guy. Just stunning. So let me grab my bodega here with its herringbone Damascus. So even from a distance, you can see a little bit more of the pattern in the bodega. And if I zoom in, even without bringing it too close to the camera, you can then see. But as we bring them up, you can just see how different the two patterns really are. So it's just, just a cool way of doing it. A different edge, just a little bit of a different pattern. Um, so I, that's one of the things that I personally love about Damascus in general is that there's really no two pieces alike, even of the same type of pattern, the herringbone, the basket weave, uh, sand mai, they, they all look different. And I am sure that even the five that were made out of this similar material all ended up a little bit different. By the time you grind, put the grind in and everything else, they're all just going to be unique. And that's the beauty of Damascus. That's the beauty of Timascus. Even my Carta is going to have some different variations between pieces. And when you're at this level of a knife, that's really what we as collectors want. But we also, uh, me personally, I want things that I can carry as well. And yeah, we have to just accept the fact that it's going to get scratched and it's going to get some wear marks when you're collecting at this level. I personally don't have very many, quote, safe queens or art knives that I never carry. I carry everything I own outside of <laughs> the Phil Harvey Peacemaker, but that's too plus pounds and doesn't fit in your pocket and it's the folding shovel everybody says I've got videos on it you can go look um, that's really the only knife that I own that I do not carry the Phil Harvey Gladius is also a big behemoth but I can carry that and I have carried it a number of times so let's do a couple of just quick size comparisons just to give you guys an idea as to what this really is here it is next to the Sharpie the Delica, the uh, Bodega, and all of the Bodegas, other than there is some mini Bodegas, all the Bodegas are the same size. So it's, whether it's this one or whether it's, you know, one of my other ones, you know, they're all the same size. And how about, since we're in the kind of the bigger knife realm here, the Hellraiser P-Series. Just something that's not exactly the same here, but the Midgard's Messer Bomber. This would be, you know, I would consider this kind of in that overbuilt category. The very thick blade and whatnot. Super smooth action. So there you have it, guys. Alex, my friend, thank you very much for sending this in. It's a pleasure to check this one out as well as with all of the other JD uh, knives you sent up. So Thanks, everybody, for watching. I do greatly appreciate your time. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you tomorrow.